What is going on guys? We are back with another video today in our Flyers Relocation Fantasy Draft franchise and we just got done beating the Seahawks which honestly might shockingly take them out of any chance for the postseason. Somehow we're 9-0. Somebody's going to humble us at some point but at the same time we're getting healthier so maybe not. We're about to go against the Buccaneers. Of course, we're sitting here at week 10 just in case we had a scenario. So let's take a look. Do we have any scenarios? We do not, but we also do have a big injury decision. Tony Pollard was cleared. However, there's really no reason to play him because, you know, his injury goes down 15 spots. His in, or his speed goes down 15 spots. His injury goes down 14. His Excel goes down 15. Not to mention Josh Adams to get double XP, which, I mean, hey, who doesn't like double XP? Take a look at the roster, 79 overall, of course, Jerry Judy returned, kind of had a little bit of an iffy return, uh, can't lie. Uh, Josh Adams, of course, people have been asking still why his uh, superstar doesn't show up on the screen. It's because he's not 80 overall yet, we're still a decent bit away, and please tell me he gets bulldozer when he does get to 80. Jordan Love, uh, 79 overall, probably some morale there as well, yeah, two morale boosts. Our overalls aren't that great, are they? Jerry Judy, he already has his ability, doesn't he? Yeah, he does post-flag elite, which is actually pretty solid. Uh, Marcus Gilbert, who I call the Max Gilbert. Okay, week one. Uh, well, week one for us. And then defensively, Nandi, he was he was all right. Wilkins, those two are still... I mean, the DT spot is still a little iffy for us. Linebacker Ty Summers, so nothing really too... There's nothing really to mention other than, you know, guys that are needing to get to 80 overall and should be able to get there. We do have some upgrades, I suppose. That's the big thing going into this matchup. Yulia Wards. Uh, apparently, Russell Wilson did overtake Love. So this is it's becoming a bit of a close battle here. Player of the week, Russell Wilson. Four touchdowns, ironically enough. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to have to improve a little bit more if we want to win MVP. But just over halfway through the season, so... Still time. Who knows? Maybe Russell gets hurt. Who knows? Maybe Love gets hurt. I don't know. All right, so Stevens, lots of things you can upgrade. I think zone coverage should be the number one thing, though. Get him over the 70 mark for zone coverage, which he does. And then let's go back to run support, which now bumps him up to 76 overall to zone coverage. I don't understand the upgrading at all. Uh, it would be nice to see a speed upgrade because he's 86 speed, 92 excel, but that speed is lacking Block shedding, yeah, let's still, let's keep going, run stopper. I know uh, we do let him sit in coverage quite a bit on his own, but we need tackling, we need run blocking, and we, or block shedding, we didn't really get too much out of that. Uh, of course, getting closer to that 90 overall upgrade. Going to go with a run support for Ashton Davis. Definitely need to get his tackling up, which he does, kind of. One block shed as well, which puts him at 52. Wow, what a beast. Go route runner for Jerry Judy, which does put him up to an 82 overall one catch, one medium, one short. That's a kind of a meh, meh, and meh. Run. Oh, nice. Scheme fit for uh, Marcus Gilbert. We go pass protector, which kind of an iffy upgrade. But he does get scheme fit, which probably doesn't matter for being honest. Voshan Joseph, uh, terrible in coverage, but at the same time, he's not going to get good at both. He's going to have to choose one. And I think, once again, block, shed, tackle kind of stuff is the most important thing for us, especially for a guy that's... Not really starting. He's just going to be in every once in a while. Maybe when we need a blitz, we need an extra linebacker in there. Kind of wish we could have played in Tampa, but, uh, you know, regardless, it still should be a, a fun matchup midday. Actually, probably just afternoon, I would say, matchup. Four and five versus our nine and oh. Obviously, they're fighting hard to try and get in the playoffs. We're not fighting as hard. We should be because we are still. Ooh, Baker Mayfield. Interesting. Uh, we are still trying to get a spot. You never know. If we lose every single game, we would easily miss the playoffs. So, you know, it might seem drastic of a thing, but it doesn't mean it's impossible. It looks like they have Derrick Henry and Baker Mayfield. I think Eric Kendricks. Don't really remember too much about the Buccaneers. We probably played them last season, but I don't really remember it. Hillis talking to Love, which really should be Love talking to Hillis after that fumble that almost costed us the game late. Looking at the NFC playoff picture, you can see here, like I said, fighting hard. It's it's a doable thing for them. I mean, they're not very far off, uh, and we are, you know, a decent bit ahead. So they have a little bit more to play for, and we do kick the ball first. Oh, Seattle wins against the Vikings. Okay, so Seattle, maybe a little too late to turn around, but we'll see. Ten and six. That is, you know, very 
very doable to make a playoff spot. I don't know if they will, but we'll see. Here, really good return all the way to the 29. So let's take a look at Baker Mayfield's season as of this moment. See, ew, disgusting. Yikes. But then again, you see the guy in the backfield. That's probably a decent reason why he's not having that great of a year. And to the outside, looks like there could be a hold on the play, which we will accept. The center, that's an interesting position to be holding from, but first and 20, redo the down. Could be a little sneaky handoff, it is not. It's a sneaky shot to the outside, he gets it, gains about seven, so second and 13, they're falling behind a little bit. Tampa Bay challenges, all right, maybe this is why they're four and whatever, five, four and six. They win the challenge, they must have challenged uh, a half yard. We'll see if that half yard comes into play or not. Into the outside, it's perfect play, but Ty Summers doesn't really fully believe in his ability and kind of hesitates, doesn't jump at it, and he does gain six. Perfect coverage, but he still is a decent gainer. Here on third and seven, perfect blocking, double team on Miles inside. Really can't do much if you're uh, you're in the back, you're in the secondary there, just locking up. Fortunately, they will find their target. They will get a first down, though. Looks like Mike Williams on the play. And here, better time than any to run with Derek. Please don't, but they probably will. Never mind, Derek with the penalty. What are they doing? I think it was Derek, right? Let's run the blitz, though. First of 15 still doesn't matter because they're probably still looking to run. And they are not hit as he's throwing Ashton Davis with the sack. Who was he about to take a shot to? Was, was he wide? Oh, I look back. He had some options. Jair got burned the most. Although I think he had the most chance to recover. And then Mike Williams kind of burned Josh. But I think Josh could have recovered on that. And oh my lord, Vildor has been buried alive. Right, so taking a look at the full offense. Left tackle, insane. Right tackle, meh. Right guard, really good. Center, really good. Uh, and then look at the receiving options. Really solid team. This team top to bottom, at least on the offensive side of things pretty good so really just top to middle it's it's not top to bottom if it's yeah you know oh look at Derek excuse me Derek Henry fourth and eight but okay dude this should be a very manageable field goal who is that is that Tavecchio perhaps I'm not even sure we're gonna try to go for the block which we missed by an inch thankfully we didn't take the kicker out really good job by Perry there but Tavecchio under pressure, hits the kick, just barely. Would love to see the re the, the attempt at blocking it, which they're probably not going to show another look at. And they don't. Why would you? It's not like it was a huge play that could have scored or anything. Vildor back on the returns. Looking to get us to the 25, and he just barely doesn't. Of course, Jordan Love, a little bit of a setback last week, but overall still... MVP type numbers and you know still undefeated right Adams had another really good week probably a little weary of uh, you know Pollard's return soon I'd be worried as well if I was him why wouldn't you be and here that is off the hands of Jalen Rager Knox on that out Ooh, Knox looks like he could be gone we'll see Ooh, they are kind of covering that a little bit we're gonna take it anyways Knox one-on-one -on -one gets popped almost picked off not a great start for us on offense, can't lie. Looking at the defensive side of things, Gerald McCoy, Muhammad Wilkerson, once upon a time, greats at their positions. Uh, Anthony Jennings, young. Eric Kendrick, still young enough. Joel, long name I won't pronounce. Cornerbacks, good. Strong safety, decent. Free safety, lacking. So kind of a 50-50 defense. You know, definitely great players, but also some guys that probably do hold them back a bit. Jerry Judy on the inside. What a play, but a really... Really good throw by Jordan Love. He is really stepping into his role now. That throw could not be any better. Uh, what the hell's happened to Eric? His, his hair on backwards. Interesting. I could have probably taken that. On the run, that is terrible. That is terrible. We had a couple of looks, but hey, ultimately we still have possession of the ball, and that's really all we can ever hope for when we're us. Inside, Adams. Try to cut it back. It's a decent big. It's about six. Third and four now. Huge situation because obviously if we don't get this, we're probably going to have to kick uh, a punt the ball. But if we do get it, things change. Metcalf, double move. I don't like it. Really good blocks. Love 
fighting hard. Oh my lord, I've never seen this. What just happened? What in the world did love just do? Excuse me. I said, you know what? It's either a punt or, a you know, you get the first down. Love, perfect blocks, by the way. Has to take one on. Obviously, he was going to lose that. Muhammad gives him some momentum. What in the world? Love just... I mean, he just looks like a crazy person. Tell me, that's not a normal person making tackle breaks. Look at him go. Can we actually send him out? Well, I guess the same thing. Release. Oh, no. The release is the right bump. It is the right bumper, isn't it? I thought it was analog. Damn it. All right, so we actually have a couple of backups in here. Speaking of Alberto, prime look again. Not a great route, but an even worse throw. Jordan Love has been... It's been an interesting afternoon for him, I will tell you. He said insane play, and, you know, basically all of that's going to pretty much be gone all for nothing here. And we and really all for nothing as we lose the field goal opportunity as well. Damn. All right, Cody Grace, get that ball out of there. And he did, but not in a good way. So that was uh, probably the most interesting drive we've ever had. But, you know, here we are. Monty Rice, just too freaking good. Just too, why? I mean, didn't even leave him. Just just sat there. I don't know why you thought he was going to get that past him. Eighth pick of the season. Excuse me, Monty, while I just crap my pants out of excitement. Jalen outside, and wow. Okay, so Love put on an absolute beauty of a throw to Mr. Uh, Jerry Judy. A beauty to Judy. <laughs> I'll be here all day, and, and just all day, not all week. They, they would not keep me all week. And then the rest has just been garb. Here, under pressure, hits a throw. Metcalf carries the two into the end zone for the score. I don't know what to tell you, man. Great, Derrick Henry. They already got a first down. It's from the 42 now. First and 10, Derrick Henry on the run. Stevens from behind. Can't catch up because Derrick Henry is deceptively fast cover that tight end with Stevens who was their tight end actually I don't remember seeing the tight end oh Ashton this is what we were worried about no oh, it's not Ashton it was Burke Irvin Burke Irvin this is what we were worried about <laughs> it's what everyone we're all worried about for every single player it fits for everyone so whether they you know we just disrespected Ashton it's another another play for him oh no that's that's a GG Ashton though coming back around getting a really freaking good jump on it Let's see some pass rush for once. Come on. Stevens forcing the hit. And Miles Garrett has the ball, and he might be gone. He is not to the 32-yard line. Stevens, you just got to get a man on him. Otherwise, he's going to do that to you. He's going to have that chance, and he'll take it. And we're going to run with the ball with Adams. Damn it. I'm going to keep that route. And he, I give there his pressure, but Knox was off to the races there. We're struggling today, man. I don't like this play. We're just going to run with Adams and hope hope for some blocks, which we kind of get, but big boy Adams gets caught up. Another only two-yard gain. We're going to have to punt. Come on. The Buccaneers, who seem to have a really good offense, struggling on offense while their defense, a little lacking, is the better of the two. I don't even know what to tell you. Look at that freaking jump. I don't know why he pressured himself like that, but really good bounce and a really good run downfield by, uh, I'm assuming, Perry, right? All right, let's see it, Stevens. Oh, back it up, back it up, Terry. Oh, my. And that is a rightful call of P.I. I think it was a little overthrown, but right to go for him there because if, you know, you leave him and he does catch it, that's gone. Our fault with Stevens there. That's a veteran-type play, though, from uh, Monty Rice, who I suppose is a rookie. I mean, can we do we even really call him a rookie anymore? Oh, my Lord, he's still going, by the way. Good job, everyone. Whether you bring them down or not, just slow them down. This could go either way, really. It's it's hard to tell. Because, you know, if they clean up their turnovers, game changes quite a bit. Damn it. Whereas we're just, you know, blowing opportunities. Really good play by A.J. Brown. Breaks the tackle on Jair as well. Now Alexander, he's, he's kind of had a bad year. Can't lie. He's, he's not played well. Miles tries. Oh, my. Look at the move by... Henry, I would assume that ball was down, or he was down, but they're going to say it was a fumble and he recovered it. Not really much we could do about that one. Monty Rice 
No, somebody help. Stevens, what are you doing? Oh, my Lord, Jair Alexander. You're supposed to be our best player other than Miles. Both of them really kind of bad. Where does Len... I mean, if they had a speed guy back there instead of Henry, GG. There you go, Stevens. Ashton with the cleanup. The safeties have been playing pretty well. Red wine stepping up, going to the out route again, man. Stevens, good play. Let's hope they're going to go back to Travis. They will. And another hit stick attempt. This time he was ready for it. Gets the spin. Might have gained a yard, but overall not the worst situation for us. Red wine in. Don't know if I really like that, but here we are. Step up, Monty. Oh, my Lord. Henry does not care. He got attacked by Monty and another player. Just keeps pushing, gets the touchdown. All right, we got the drag set up with Judy. Knox could be the main look, though. Just going to take it underneath Judy, who just instantly ditches the ball as usual. I get it. Some of these are hospital passes. Some of these could leave you as a corpse. But, I mean, hey, we'll put the ball in your coffin. What else do you want? And Adams, you can't kind of fight that. You got to just go through, dude. Don't don't get patient. Run. We'd have put Corey Grant in if we were worried about patience. We just want the power. Uh oh. Get that out of there. What is he doing? Who was that? Who actually was that? I'm looking. Jalen Potato Head Rager. Are you serious? Don't get me wrong, the ball's underthrown. But you gotta get that. That is so easy. Okay, dude. I mean we have to punt it, right? We like there's no other choice. Uh, we might have we might have shanked it a little. Or perfect. Okay, never mind. Uh, apparently, if we didn't leave that accuracy off, we would have kicked it through the up, uh, through the touchback. But Cody Graves with a monster punt. Just hope Jair can cover those two back. And that's a safety off the edge by Miles Garrett. Henry finally meeting his match. Quite literally, the only person on the field that could take him down one on one, probably in that situation. Mr. Miles. Oh God, this ball was. That ball was punted amazingly. Obviously, they lost two points, you know, two-point swing. Technically more because they lost possession as well. But as far as safety punts go, didn't really hurt them there. Didn't really hurt them. They should be bringing an extra player. They will. Inside. There goes Judy. Going to try to outrun to the edge and lose a little bit of yards. We see that every once in a while, but probably worth the risk. Off the left side, the slant Metcalf looking pretty good. That pump fake looking him off. Metcalf breaking tackles, but similar to Judy, losing yards that he gained in the hopes for more, which, I mean, you, once again, you can't really blame it. As long as you get the first down, I'm good. Adams, early truck. It's yeah, We're a little rusty today. Alberto looking back across the field. Knox with the block. Metcalf could score. We'll see. Alberto! And it's overthrow Love. What are you doing, man? Love has absolutely sold this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I normally protect the guy, but holy crap. Let the love hate begin. And that, yeah, I mean, that once again, absolutely sold. I don't know the wind is like. We might be able to actually kick this, though. You've got to be joking me, man. That throw with the uh, throw to Jerry Judy, really good kick by Sly. That throw to Jerry Judy, it was just like, maybe we finally have, maybe Love's finally got it. Maybe it's going to click. Maybe he knows, hey, I can do this thing. But there's that inconsistency again, man. I don't know what the hell half of these throws are. I mean, some of those throws are just awful, awful things. I don't even know what the hell you want to call them. Miles Garrett wins his matchup, forces it back in, but that interior is winning their matchup for sure. Center, more right, yeah. Definitely the best outcome for them. Oh, Lord, we, we played that terribly. Terribly played by us, and Henry at half, on par to break the record, just about brutal, brutal stuff. It's a close game. It's a good battle. And here comes a pitch to Henry. Oh, that's got to be, come on, Stevens. It's a big target, and, you know, there's a likely chance you, one of you, maybe both of you get hurt in that situation, but that was a prime hit stick situation. I don't know why he hurtled into a player, basically. Call me crazy, but we're coming with the blitz here. Off the edge. 
Maybe not crazy, and I don't know. Fourth and inches. They called a like a very conservative play, but it actually turns out really well, and they almost get the first. That has got to be literally inches, like it says, centimeters, really. Stevens tries to get it, and what is that knuckleball? Absolutely terribly hit by Tavecchio, and he just basically shanks the thing. But we remain with the lead, and we have a chance to extend it. The outside, that's a risk, and Rager holds on. I'm not going to say he redeemed himself for that miss earlier, but holy crap, what a play. We're going to get a little more vertical here by going for verticals. That wasn't supposed to be a pun or anything. I was literally just saying what we're doing. Uh oh. There you go, Knox. Please catch this. That was a very, very high throw. We're not going to uh, call a timeout here, I don't think. Might be able to take a shot over top, though. That's a pretty good throw. And it's unfortunately dropped. What a damn dime, though. Over the middle, Knox. Damn, they, they played that poorly. Lads, they ran terrible routes on the left side. It should have been a game. It should have been a, you know, it should have been a touchdown there. It really should have. And then whoever ran that route, I think it was Metcalf. No, I think it was Rager. Just blew it. Just gonna take it underneath. Look, unlikely to break the tackle. Doesn't, and we'll waste a little bit of the clock. They don't want to call timeouts. Don't want to go to half. Screw it. And Joey Sly, the man himself, perfect kick down the middle, literally right down the middle. 15 to 10, what a score. Of course, the Buccaneers at 4 and 5 going against a 9 and 0 team, whether we look like we're understaffed or not. Obviously a pretty decent win for them. We just have those takeaways that have, you know, limited their chances at scoring and obviously given ourselves more opportunities. I don't remember if we've actually scored on a takeaway yet, though. I can't remember, maybe three, but I don't think we've scored a touchdown. Vildor with a great recovery after we made a terrible decision. Gets to the 27. Really should not be back there. I'm not sure why he is, but he is. Right, let's actually try to run the ball now as we have struggled mightily in pretty much every facet, but at least run game this season has been pretty good for us. I know today they've... The D-line hasn't went done well for them, but their linebacking group has recovered nicely. Second and six, though. We haven't doubled up on the run. Oh, my Lord. Haven't doubled up on the ground game all day, and... There's probably good reason. We just failed hard there. Right, Jalen Rager looking good. Is any audibles? Corner routes. Nothing on this play looks good for us. Oh, well. Jalen Rager, as he's hit, perfect throw to him. Good play with the juke move as well. Again, an extra six. Tough throw there. And there, that's, that's just not a throw he's going to be able to step into. And for knee, Jennings with the sack. Got to do better, line. We had him. We had X. I think Metcalf, but we had to step up into it. The pressure got to us. Third and 14, it would be nice to get the first down, but that's not an easy task. Let's block Adams. Maybe get Rager or Metcalf open. Didn't have to just throw it to Metcalf. We're under pressure again, and Metcalf can't get it as a fourth and five. You got to freaking punt that sucks and that looks like a really good punt to me yeah pretty damn solid inside the 10 i really thought metcalf had that edge i thought man game changer obviously not getting that is you know the difference between points or not good job burr curvin i believe and derrick henry is hurt uh-oh it's not good for them especially considering travis who is fast uh he, he fumbled the ball already for him so we'll see what you know happens with that one and almost another chance. He ran right into Stevens. Do you not remember what happened last time, pal? I'd be avoiding him if I was you. Just throwing that out there. I know, free advice, but still. And we miss hard. Really good play by them. Damn, that is a huge conversion. Bring a little bit of risk here. Stevens going to have to cover nice because we are blitzing hard. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Good job, Monty, off the edge. Couple tight ends in. We brought the uh, the linebackers. Could be a little bait out though, because they do got two receivers over there. Ty Summers. He took the inside. Good job, Ashton. Going to be about a third and nine here, I would imagine. Third and seven. How are they getting so many yards? Stevens on the outside. Amazing read by Burr Curvin to force the punt. What a hit! Really ugly game so far from us. Them. 
Uh, we've just been playing pretty decent defense, so I can't really say much. We've just been making mistakes on offense. It's just one guy almost every time. Oof. One guy every time just about making a bad play that ruins the whole drive. You know, whether it's Rager on third down, not going for a ball that was very catchable, or the tackle getting burned instantly on a big play situation. Inside. Oh, that's a great play by Metcalf to juke. Not only to get extra yards, but to avoid the hit. Perfect throw. Uh oh. There you go. Safe play. Probably have the other two receivers more open, but if Knox wins his one-on-one, -on -one, he's got blockers, you know. This play sucks. What are we doing? I'm willing to just take my yardage. Good job, Judy. All right, Josh Adams. I hate this freaking audible. It's like a delay draw. I don't even know, but gains the first down. Having back base. They're bringing an extra player, but they're bringing him on the wrong side, so I'm feeling okay. Nothing spectacular. Yeah. Never mind. Who is he, by the way? That guy's huge. Yeah, that's NASA, but I believe he is 6'7". That guy's a freaking high man. Hyman. He's a hyman. That's great to say. We did have Judy, but safer throw to Metcalf. Decent block from him as well. Judy, that is. To the 19-yard line. Got to just be smart with the ball. And we're going to throw it across the field. <laughs> Talking about smart with the ball. That's a bit of a risky one you got there. I don't think Rager ran the route as deep as he was supposed to. Cross strike, so we're uh, hoping somebody, Metcalf maybe, open. Campbell's kind of a safe route. Could be a tough one. That's a really good look and a perfect throw to Jerry Judy, who scores a touchdown here. Really good route. Really comes down to who wants to make more plays. They've definitely got plenty of time to do so, so I'm not treating this too lightly. What the hell just happened? Good play by them, but I I don't even know. He just like stopped out of nowhere and just jumped it. Mayfield under 100 yards still, which is shocking. But hey, I'll, I'll take that in the end of the week. To the outside. Oh, we just got burned. I think we were supposed to play a deep blue there, but the inside looked open. I wasn't 100% sure. Outside quick throw, and Derrick Henry's back. <laughs> I don't remember how long it's been, but... So first time I really recognized that he was back because he put us on our pack. <laughs> that was uh, quite the stiff arm you put on Mr. Monty Rice. All right, Miles, come on. Let's get some pressure for once. Does break it off, but there is nobody in sight. And number 83 yet again, getting up to the five yard line now. Could be a run, so we're going to blitz here and just hope the press works. Uh oh, inside, good teamwork. Bo Sean and Stevens. Great D. Gonna come with the blitz again. A little bit different though, as we are gonna run some zone coverage. Monty Rice over the middle. And really good stuff by Vildor. Baker steps up and nowhere to go. Monty was covering that as well, and it's not a big sack, but you know, it'll do. That's what I said. All right, come on. Third and eight. Basically third and eight. Miles wins his matchup twice, but can't do it. And over the middle, Baker with enough time. Obviously, we'll find someone sooner or later, and he gets it. We're only up by six, but that will change. Get this block. Completely change the game here. Perry almost had it earlier in the game. Yeah, five-point lead with about six minutes left. Okay, so this is an interesting one. Once again, we have been very bad on offense. Rush game, not worked. Passing game, we've had a lot of... Now, the receivers this game have done really well can't say anything else about that I mean the receivers for once have been running insanely good routes and they are going against good corners so there's no you know nothing around that wow where where is their lacking of coverage and wow I don't understand I get it Adam's kind of a bigger slower guy but they have made insane plays on him all day yeah they do have the two linebackers which have been crucial for them but we should have the look and we do Adams gets the first down and then some to the 39-yard line. Five minutes exactly left in the fourth quarter. This play actually burned last time with Metcalf, but they look like they're kind of ready for it this time. Judy is open, and it's a perfect throw. Judy down the sideline could score, and he will. Judy with the touchdown could be the dagger. I don't know if they're going to have enough time. That was an amazing round. As we've said all day, they've been running and just has all the separation in the world. And I thought that maybe he had a chance to start there. 
a little bit on the slower side. Yeah, didn't have the angle apparently, and uh, we run it. 29 to 17, all right. That was the difference on that play is they uh, they played underneath for Metcalf, and uh, they thought the safety had enough on him for, uh, of course, Judy. He didn't, and look at Henry. I mean, we played it safe, and Henry still throws us to the side like we're nothing. Come on, Miles, fighting hard, and Monty all over it, but once again, another broken tackle. Monty's usually pretty good at securing the tackle, but not today. So far, he's been a little off, can't lie. Overall, we're still having a pretty good effort. To the outside, and no! Josh Jackson had the pick six there. Gotta get Burke Irvin over to make it look like we're actually covering. And that is a bad play. That should be picked, and it is by Stevens, who does a little bunny hop for good measure. What a crazy play on the deflection, and intercepted by the man. Forced two turnovers today. Everyone went for the ball on that one. Look at that. There's four guys on that play. Going with the trap play. Yeah, statistically, offensively, outside of maybe Jerry Judy and Metcalf, nothing really special at all. Oh, look at Adams showing the agility. In fairness, you wouldn't expect it, so I can see why they got absolutely torched on it. Do we hike it? Who would expect it? It's the dumbest decision in the world. Then we're going to hike it. I mean, who would expect it, right? Am I right? Who would expect it? Bad decision that leads to a good play. But how many times that actually works in real life? Obviously, you should be ready for every play, but it's hard to anticipate a snap when, you know, you go offside, it's a penalty, completely screws you. You know they're going to probably try to pump fake you because, you know, they have that two-minute warning. They don't really have to worry about setting up. A lot of things uh, as a defender that sucks right before two-minute warning, especially if you're the team losing. And there you go, Adams. All right, not really trying to like run up the score here or uh, make it you know look better than it was statistically, but Adams definitely uh, definitely playing pretty well here in the fourth for the finisher. RPO time, huh? It's gonna be a handoff time because there's not really much to go with, and that stiff arm, brutal, brutalizing stiff arm. Adams, a lot more respectable looking of a game here, and we win slot bowl 2020. Actually, it's 2022. He won two? I don't did. I just woke up from a coma. All right. <laughs> but of course, uh, a very sloppy game. But we did, you know, offense started to kick it going a little get it going a little bit. Defense was actually pretty on it for the most part. You know, bend don't break, but a little bit less bendy today. Definitely uh, a bit better of a performance. You look at those numbers, it's not terrible uh, considering some of our terrible drives we had giving them the ball quickly. Uh, and, you know, some of the big plays on offense were really insane. You know, Jerry Judy had a really good game. Uh, Albert O, he had a couple of decent plays that should have been really decent. Of course, Jordan Love apparently doesn't like the guy or something. Uh, Jordan Love, 50-50 game, but his completion percentage definitely improved after the start. That was like 2 for 10 or something terrible. R uh, ground game, you know, you had a fumble from Henry. You had a fumble from Travis. Uh, Josh Adams. Not a great game, but he finished with a great one because of that fourth quarter, which, to be fair, they needed to make a stop. You know, there was still three timeouts, about four minutes left. They make a stop on the ground game, and they have a chance, but they couldn't stop Josh Adams. Looking at the receiving game, Jerry Judy went off. Metcalf, pretty damn good game himself. Uh, defensively now, let's see, Ashton Davis with 10. Uh, Stevens with 11 tackles, three tackles for a loss, and a forced fumble with a pick. Really good game for Stevens. Uh, sack total for Vildor and Ashton. Pick total for Stevens and Monty. Looking at kicking. Of course, they missed a kick, which was pretty big. You know, the game changer. You hit the field goal, and maybe you're going for another field goal instead of going for it. But yeah, overall, just a really interesting game. You know, ups and downs, some highlight plays. But ultimately, the victory and a 10-0 season. Jesus, man, that's crazy. Got some upgrades, which we will, of course, hold off till next episode, which will be against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Of course, I don't know what the hell their players are, but every game is tough when we're when we're us. And, of course, looking at the division, all it takes is one Niners loss, and I'm pretty, pretty damn confident we're going to win and, uh, well, at least make the playoffs. Anyways, though, if you did enjoy it, maybe leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome PK, or maybe check out, you know, check out the second channel, PK or Plays, twitch.tv slash Jerome PK, all of those things, whatever. 
or you know don't it is what it is anyways thanks for watching hopefully you come back for next video uh, but until next video uh,